Today I moved into 27 Ruthville Street where at around 5.30 or 3 successive Friday evenings, three people have killed themselves. At around half past five on Friday the 4th of October, Victor Aranich, a travelling salesman renting this room, committed suicide by hanging himself with a cut and sash, which he affixed to a stubby clothes hook for the purpose. Since the hoop was quite low, his legs dragged to the floor, so that the suicide must have required considerable effort. No clue to possible motive was found. Two days later, the room was led to Horace Mum, lightning bicycle artist from the local circus, who met with an end identical to that of the previous tenant, and exactly a week later. Mum was young, cheerful and successful in his closing career post-mortem again for the death at around 5 in the p.m. The unlucky room was next occupied by Constable Gregor Neat in an attempt to solve the mystery. For a week all seemed well, Neat phoning in regularly to inspect her children at the station. On Friday evening he failed to report. That was when he called me in. By cutting into pieces the police reports and mixing them together in a jar of water, I hope to glean some insight into this case. The atmosphere at occult sites is highly charged. Coincidence takes on meaning. The sentences formed by this random flux of words should reveal any psychic influences. Excuse me, I could have a friend I would leave to safe resist pattern. Be not tied, mum, salesman and I taken and gone. Window being almost old, unknown, I would go around to read. A Raffi, a Lydian maiden who defeated the goddess Athene in a weaving contest. The jealous deity destroyed Arachne's tapestry and the girl hanged herself in despair. Athene took pity on her and chased her into a spider. Her name is Claremont. I'm sure of it. There's been a lot of strangulation. Murder, suicide, and more than the guy to what you might call sexual hangs. This one's got a stunt. Serial suicide. We'll have to put a new entry in all the manuals.
sense the kind of person who falls in love. I wish to make that quite clear.